Welcome back to today's more important analysis videos on Thursday 4th of May with me, which is Market Analyst at Attic Markets. Turning to the Euro dollar now, and Euro dollar remains in this trading range, isn't it? This 100 tick band that it's been in for the last eight sessions um, shows no real suggestion that it's going to be sort of moving out either way, really, at the moment. But you are still positively configured on the momentum indicator, so you'd still be sort of looking to buy into weakness, I think. Having broken out above this 10850 pivot line, um, which is the neckline that's become supportive and I think you're still holding on to that and I think it's it's a sort of suggestion that this is still a big base pattern and the market's just consolidating for the next run higher um, you've got the hourly chart here so I'll zoom out a little bit you can see this sort of consolidation in the last few days um, you had the uh, a, a negative reaction where the dollar strengthened on the back of the Fed um, FOMC statement last night, uh, but then this morning the the PMIs for the eurozone have come out positively, so that's uh, helped to support the market at 108.73, and um, rallied uh, back above 109 figure. So you, you're still in 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 the sort of right in the middle of this um, sort of 100 pit band at the moment, and there's no sort of real drive to break out, but still I think you're. I'd be looking out to buying into weakness. I think 10850 is clearly the support initially. I'm sort of taking 108 figure as well. So you zoom back here, you get 108 figure as sort of uh, old highs coming in. 108 figure was this high here. If I get this crosshair on it, oh, that's not working. There you go, 108 figure area. Just generally speaking, some uh, between 108 to 10850 is the sort of key level of um, support I'm taking on this breakout and uh, I think that um, just uh, buying into weakness really so um, I'm still sort of looking out for a euro recovery to continue now we've broken that downtrend and um, I think uh, it's going to resolve ultimately to the upside yesterday's bear candle has been sort of can well, being cancelled out by today's move and uh, this is a, a little range that continues but uh, I'm expecting an upside break so uh, obviously good, good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later thank you